What's going on, everybody? Hope everybody had a good day today. I've uh, been taking it easy today, recovering, doing some. St you know, I'm actually funny. I'll, I'll tell you a funny story. I'm actually in the process of like uh, coming off of some medication, uh, but the problem is that medication was like to control like muscle spasms and pain. But the problem with that is, as you're coming off of it, you're starting to feel the real the real world. That's why I wasn't making any videos today because it's like. That's all I can tell you. It was just one of those things. I'll make you laugh. The first time in my life I ever saw somebody come off of pain medication, we had this uh, we had this guy growing up. Uh, I grew up with him. His name was Chris. Fat Chris. He was like a he was like a cat burglar, but he developed arthritis and he couldn't do any more cat burglary stuff. So he became like this like half a, half a drug dealer. But the thing was, he always had like these like weird muscle spasms so his hands were always like that so people who always wanted to buy drugs from him he like got all the like he would hold the money with like the the pinkies and the hand over the money with the the drug with the thumb and they were all fucked up one day the cops came and arrested everybody in the neighborhood like a sweep so they grabbed me they grabbed benny they grabbed mike and they, they grabbed fat chris but i mean nonetheless he was a drug dealer so i could understand that so anyway they take us all down to central booking they can't process us all I know they're gonna let me go because it has nothing to do with me, it has nothing to do with Benny, nobody like that. Um, but anyway, they take us over to, to, to Rikers because they didn't have the space in central booking because they're doing a lot of sweeps. But the problem was when you got, you know, the, the cat burglar, let me just call him that way. <laughs> when you got the, the former cat burglar without his arthritis pain meds and muscle meds, whatever. And he started going through hell that night. Like, it was like that night to the next night. I've never seen a human being be in so much pain until me in the last 24 hours. I was just like fat because I was like, oh. <laughs> and when the, finally, when the, when, the, when the pain, like, subsided, like, the brain starts to regulate how. Because, you know, your, your body starts to create its own, like, you know, little painkillers. It starts to, like, chill everything out. I was like the Joker dancing in the bathroom, like you know how he like, after he whacked those three guys in the subway. I was like, forget, I was happy as hell. Um, it's gonna come and go back and forth. So you see me doing like uh, little disappearing acts. It's just because I'm balancing things out. I'm back. I'm back at the hospital on Thursday, so I'll see what I see what they do with me. But you know, moving along, you know, progress. Um, that being said, I want to talk about something. Somebody sent me an email. It was a comment. That I'm leading all of you in the wrong direction because Bitcoin is going to rise up, but I'm talking XRP. Let me explain something to you. Everybody. I own Bitcoin. I don't talk about Bitcoin because I believe that right now the average guy, what is he going to get in Bitcoin? Unless you bought Bitcoin a long time ago or you got, you know, 20 or 40 grand to buy, you know, half a coin or a full coin. Where is your where's your maximization going to be in that? Because you got to understand something about Bitcoin. It's already up in value. And they're going to pump it up even more. So if you're holding... That was somebody calling out there for his primo. Anyway, if you're, if you're holding, you know, if you got good money and you, you know, if you got a, a lot of money and you buy a couple of Bitcoins, yeah, it's going to pump up. You'll, you know, they double your money and stuff like that. It's great. But where's your maximization? See, I don't think people understand something. I'm betting on XRP because the fact that it was so cheap, still is so cheap, and I was able to buy a lot of coins. So the maximization is there. Um, I think maybe people are new to this world. Maybe people don't know me very well. But I do this shit for a living. Like, this is what I do. I see the opportunity. XRP, XLM, cheap prices, huge potential. So I say, fuck it. I, I go after that. Why? Because what's the sense of buying scrapes of Bitcoin and it goes up all this amount, but what did you really make? A couple of thousand dollars? Versus you get a grip of XRP or XLM and the fucking thing, you know, goes up to like 150 bucks in 2024. And you and you're like, what? How much did I make? That's what that's what this is all about. I see the comparison in the crypto market is very much like the penny stocks. You try to get in early at a low price, so this way when the movement comes, you benefit. And I'll talk about the movement stuff later. So as far as people feeling, 
you know, I steer people. I own Bitcoin. The government could investigate me. I own Bitcoin. Um, it ain't the first time in my life. And this, I mean, I've been in Bitcoin for a bit. But that being said, I see the better advantage in XRP and in XLM right now, especially XRP. Um, I hope that helps. I mean, I you, you could buy anything. I don't care. You could buy Pokemon cards for all I give a fuck. I'm just telling you what I do. Um, so this way for the people that are not from this world, they know what they have to do. So let me answer this and I'll be back. Trying hugs.